Keep California Cowgirls from vanishing. Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Training our horses and miniature cows in ranch versatility. Penny, Rusty and Susie, our bull, and heifer. Roping Rusty with Morgan Horse, Sammy. Training Eve to drive cart. Training Eve to work over her haunches with a motor cow simulator. Training Eve to lay down. Training Eve to harness, pull a log. Training Semi to harness, pull a log on turf. Jumping at liberty to music, making our Morgan horses our partners. Training Eve on a cow roping simulator. Training on our driveway, which is covered by sand, so we have a straight track. Stepping over poles, jumping over crossbar jumps. Training in our trail obstacles area. Semi on the big steps. Morgan Horse Sadie doing obstacles rainlessly. Semi drives a cart. Sadie pulls a log. Sadie learns to pull a cart. Miniature Zebu Heifer Susie learns to drive a cart. Bull Rusty learns to pull a harrow. Part two of Trail Obstacles Tips for Quarters Pivot in a Ring. All right, here's Sadie. And we are teaching her for the first time to put her feet in the ring. Her front legs, her front feet nope. in the ring. That's, yes. <laughs> we like to break things up into small steps. Walk through. What is the objective ultimately? Because this is part two of trail tips. The objective ultimately is to get her feet in the ring. We'll make the ring bigger if we have to, but we're going to start with this size. Get her feet in the ring. Ask her to move her hind, uh, the ha second half of her body, the back half of her body, around her four quarters. Can we get her to move and pivot around her front legs? Well, Good, good. Let's just stand there. Give her reward. Good girl. Very nice. Now, I, I kind of feel like if she stands there for another few seconds, if you put your your leg, leg pressure, on either side, just behind the cinch, ever so slight, see if you, and, and, here's the thing. If you move, you want to move her hind end, you look at her hind end. Uh -huh. She knows you're doing that. Now, she left the ring. That's okay. This is our first session, our first small step. We are in the Minmore Farms obstacles area. We just walk around, get our horses focused, relaxation. Any direction, it's a circle, come in from any direction, make her realize that her oh. job here, yes, Good girl. a little bit, another inch or two because she's standing on the cable. She doesn't realize it. So, well, good. good now, her left leg has is, is not on the cable, but you want to square her up before you ask her to pivot. See if you can. If not, then okay, we she's go back square. out and come back in. She Now she's standing on well, the cable. Can't see she's doing. <laughs> right? It's a little bit frustrating at first because, you know, Sadie doesn't know what her job is yet. This is a new obstacle. It will be easy for her once she understands what the task is. And the task is this, and it's a very practical task out on the trail, with her front feet pivoting 
and her hind end disengaging, well, can she move her four quarters around herself? Well, and of course, we won't go for a whole circle at first. Okay. And then we have to, no, okay, well, almost, almost. Okay. Now she's getting a little bit. Yeah. She's getting a little <laughs> bit uh, distracted. That's okay. We show you here at Menmore Farms what happens when we try to teach these obstacles every step of the way. Now, if there's going to be a lot of repetition, we'll turn off the camera and show you when we get to the next step and try to remember to tell you how long it took us. But, you know, for us, it doesn't matter how long. We just don't pressure our horses. We do it in small steps and we relieve the pressure as soon as we get cool. ever so slight the right answer. Good. Okay, that's good. Now, look, that's perfect. Oh, now, she didn't pivot, yeah. right? <laughs> she started disengaging her hind end. In other words, her back leg crossed over her, uh, her other leg, but she thought she didn't understand that, oh, I, I'm supposed to do that and just pivot mm -hmm. around the front end. So let's see if we can get her to do one step over with the back. And to understand that when you approach this ring, assuming she can Whoa. see it. Oh, good, good. Remember to good look, girl. good, good. Almost, <laughs> again, she moved. Now, how are you gonna tell her that no, you're not to move? Well, repetition, or when she starts moving her front end, which is not part of this task, Maybe a, uh, a one rein stop yeah. until her feet stop and then walk out and come back in. Whoa. Bring that right foot back. Whoa. Remember, horses don't see well right in front of themselves or right behind themselves, so she may not even know <laughs> what it is you're asking her to woe into. I'm sure she can see it yeah. from a distance because it's a white cable on a gray, sandy soil. But when she's right there, she probably doesn't see it. Whoa. Good. Okay, stop. Whoa. Oh, if you can. No. Nope. Whoa. Not yet. It's okay. It's okay. And you know what? The wind's coming up. And we got a lot of trees here, oak trees and eucalyptus trees, and pine trees and acacia trees. And uh, it can be distracting. So if the weather continues to go against us, we'll just stop on a note where we know Come on. she's giving us the right answer. And we'll uh, continue on another day. No rush. Whoa. Good. Whoa. One rain stop right there. Whoa. Can you pull that head to your knee? That's it. Good All right. Girl. You get that lateral flexion, then you get their focus. If you get the feet to stop, which is your objective today, if she walks out, you've re now I'm moving this stick. It was potentially a hazard. This is our Back. arm extension. Whoa. 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 There's no one path to get there. I'm going to let you use your judgment. Do you want to come back out, ask for a small step? You know what? Making small steps forward, much harder than making big yeah. ones. I learned that years ago. Sometimes going slower is much harder than going faster. Whoa. Okay, now her right foot. Whoa. Okay, now if she steps out, she's stepping on the cable, but that's okay. Let's just say that's ever so slight the right answer. No. Whoa. Whoa. Let's get her focus and try again your call. Whoa. Do you want to just try or walk out and come back? Remember, this is an obstacles area, a trail obstacles area. So we have low branches. We have debris on the ground, deadfall. We have a lot of obstacles stationed here in this area. So teaching this kind of obstacle work is different from doing it in an arena where you have 
Clear sand and nothing in the way. Whoa. Good, good. Ooh, nice. Good. Almost, oh. almost got those front feet to stand still. And we have to decide, it's our call, you know, when do you have enough of a right answer to quit? Maybe this time, try to get her to get those front feet in there, stand for 10 seconds, then we'll make the call. Sometimes in one session, you feel like you're going backwards. That's when you say, okay, I'm gonna go backwards to something I know she can do, and then start again next time. And then sometimes the next time gives you two well, steps forward. Okay, so she has her left foot in, that's okay at this point. Nope. You know what I would like you to do? Come on out here, and my cameraman will follow. Come out here and practice just in having her step yeah. over with her hind end without moving her front end. Oh. Look back at her hip. That's it. That's it. Whoa. Yes. That's it. Okay. Want that disengagement? Yes. So you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to do some practicing of that. Good girl. Yes. Until we get the right answer without the ring. And then we'll go back to the ring. We'll get our front feet in there. But before we quit today, get those front feet in there and stop and get off. And then she'll know the right answer today was put those front feet in the ring. Whoa. One, the left one has to go in. Whoa. Always keep in mind how the horse is seeing the world that you're seeing, remembering that she doesn't see that cable Whoa. from real close to it. If she Easy. knows that's her job, she'll figure it out. But she doesn't know that's her job yet. As a matter of fact, we're getting some sand kicked on it, so we'll just have to uh, brush it off oh. before our next lesson. Whoa. Oh. Okay, you felt okay. that she was going to her, her left, right? And tell me, yeah. were you giving le left pressure? I don't think so, but I might no, have been no, a little... No, to, to close own. the door. You see, the objective yeah. here is close the door on the side where the movement is happening. So give left pressure. As soon as you feel that she's going off to the left, that was predictable that that would happen when she gets stressed. Whoa. Whoa. And the most important thing is not to let her shoulders fall in, not to let her ribs fall in, to keep her straight and to keep you centered. So you can see that in this first session, we're having to take a few steps back in order to stop on a good note. Whoa. She and you know what? She's a... Uh, Oh gosh, if she had stood there for a few more <laughs> seconds and she'll realize that. Yeah. She'll eventually realize it. I just have to be patient until I'm asked to move or until my rider gets off. And we always have our sessions open-ended, no rushing, no deadlines, because you can't stop in the wrong place. But you're almost there. Whoa. One more with the right. She went a little bit too far. Can you? No, still didn't understand. Okay, back out. It's okay. When I first put this ring down, I had it down in the deadfall, and you could hardly see it. And I realized that that was going to be not fair to my horse, that I'm asking to step into the ring and then maneuver within the ring. Okay. Okay. Remember, when you uh, ask for flexion to run your hand down okay. the rein, because what you were doing was pulling your arms back, which changes your balance.
Katie's only worked with me for a month or so. She's getting to know my horses. Whoa. Close the door on the left. Maybe bring your um, foot a little closer to the shoulder because that's what's bulging. <laughs> when she yeah. starts going to the left, she's bulging her shoulder. There's so much Whoa. to think about. Almost, boy, I wish the ring were there. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my goodness. Get off. <laughs> yes. The girl. That's the right answer. Get off. Very good. All right, you can see how one small step at a time, yeah. one prerequisite skill after the other. And this is gonna be a multi-part series about how to train for trail obstacles. Trail obstacles. Tips. Walk Eve right into this ring and see that I used some marker paint to make the ring a little bit more obvious. She immediately, as she approached it, put her nose down. I let her investigate. She walked right in. We've been standing here for about a minute. And now I'm going to try to see if I can get her to pivot. This is my first attempt at getting Firecrest Easter Eve to pivot around her forequarters, keeping her front legs in this small diameter ring. I'm looking back at her hip. I'm gonna open the door with my left leg, close the door with my right leg. I'm gonna try to remain very soft with my hands and we'll just see how it goes and then show you how we get it better. Whoop. Okay. We didn't get that pivot. So we have to go back in and she just swiped the ground a little bit. Eve very much wants to understand, but this is the first time I've asked her to accomplish this task. So one small step at a time. I'm gonna do it again in the same direction. See if I can get her to step over with her hind legs, pivot with her front, I'm going to try to keep collection, and by collection I mean we're going to keep her together, her vertical flexion. We're going to try to have her power from her haunches, although there's not much power involved here. We're going to try to keep her back from getting hollow. And I'm trying to stay center. Look. Whoa. Whoa. That's real good, isn't it? I do have to lean forward to see if she's still in the ring. She is, and that was an ever so slight a step with her hind end, but for this first attempt at this obstacle, she's doing much better than her daughter, Sadie, which was expected. Eve is a much more mature mare. Sadie is a little teenager trying to learn how to even give us focus. Now let's see if we can do it again. Good. I just uh, don't pull back with the reins. I just kind of maintain contact. I look. I close the door with uh, my ankle and my calf against her right ribs. And then I open the door without changing the balance of my body with my left leg. And then I say, with my body language, please pivot again. So we're going to try it now. We're right by the creek bank, and you see Eve's body language right now. I felt her get stiff. You see her ears? She heard something there. There are a lot of critters over there on the creek bank, and Eve is very sensitive to them. But these are trail obstacle tips in a trail obstacle setting. Not in an arena, not on sand, not even on the driveway track, but right here near the creek bank, um, in the ground fall debris, uh, a trail obstacle, not just an obstacle. Okay, I'm going to ask for it again. Good, good Eve. Now she did move her left front a little bit over, so she's just almost slightly on the cable. So, oh my, I'm going to ask my camera operator to zoom down there and show you what I mean. And you should be able to see the white marker paint. So I'm going to ask Eve to correct just ever so slightly. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look over her ears, open the door on the right, a little bit left leg. Oop. 
and she corrected. It's really fine tuning. I didn't want her to go forward. I didn't want to hang on her mouth, but she corrected nice and I got a nice sigh just now. And you're getting licking of the lips. You see, we keep watching for the stress-free reaction. Now, I'm going to try it in the other direction. Another step or two. See if I can get that pivot over the four quarters. Open the door on the right. Then I'm going to and it's simultaneously close the door on the left. This time, though, I have to look over the hip this way, keep my body straight, and adjust my reins as needed. She gave me a little bit of vertical flexion there. I just put my hands in front of her eyes rather than trying to use the reins to straighten her out. Whoop. Little bit more. A wrong answer this time, so I'm going to kind of correct her. Going in the other direction is a whole nother task. I'm going to correct again. If I don't get it right now, I'm going to walk out and come back in. Nope, but I got it. Otherwise, I would have walked out. And the reason being, from a distance, she'll be more likely to see this white ring. And she'll more likely understand that my request to her is to put her feet within the ring, which is what she's doing right now. Now, let's see if I can get just one step. She's out of the ring. So back I go. Small steps. Can I get her feet in the ring again? Yes, barely. This is a very small ring. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk out now and show her from a distance what I mean about stepping into the white ring. Just like I did before we turned the camera on. Eventually she'll come out here, she'll see that white ring and we'll be approaching it and she'll know that she's to stop her front feet in it. Just like that. Just like that. Very good Eve. Give her reward for the right answer. Let's see if I can get a slight disen uh, disengagement of the hind end. A slight step over keeping the front end on a pivot. You see, her attention right now is out there in the creek bank, but her ear is turning towards me and I'm not feeling a lot of stiffness, so. Whoa. And there you go. That was ever so slight the right answer, but good enough for me today. So what's our plan today? This is Shadrach Triton Sammy. And we haven't tried her in the ring. You can hear it, I'm sure. Big winds, big storm coming in. We are going to just for a few minutes see what Semi says about stepping into the ring. And here it is with a little bit of extra white marker paint on it. If Semi starts misbehaving, then okay. No lesson today. Not a yuke trees here. This is the creek bank. So she is doing she is doing what her animals do, being very, very aware. See how high her neck is and her eyeballs are looking back and forth. I'm not seeing the signs of relaxation. I'm not seeing licking of the lips, cocking of the leg. But so far, I'm not seeing misbehavior. So one small step at a time in spite of the weather. Let's see what Semi says. From the ground, good. Investigation, good. Can I get her to put her front feet in here? Okay, nice. You hear the cows mooing? That's a little bit of a distraction too, but she's used to it. Let's see if I can get Semi to bring that leg forward. Okay, investigation. She says, what do you want? Let me check it out. Visual block. A lot of noises. 
beyond the creek bank. There's city over there. I'm hearing motorcycles. A lot of distractions. So we're just taking this one small step at a time. And in the next video, we'll start with Sammy. There. There. Good. See if I can get that right foot forward. A little tapping. Ooh. Left foot. Can I get the left front? A small step forward. <coughs> a little bit of tapping with my arm extension here. A little bit of visual block. Woo. There you go. She's in the ring. But you know what I have discovered today? I need to anchor it down more because in her investigation, she pulled it up out of the ground. It's got three anchor you clamps into the ground. I've got, I'm gonna put six of them so that she can't get hung up in this thing in what uh, she's doing to check things out in her investigation. This is just an obstacles request and I'm trying to give you tips on how to teach a horse, how I teach my horses to do trail obstacles. Now, things are going so well and it hasn't started raining yet. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna ask her just to disengage her hind end ever so slightly and hopefully keep those front feet in the ring. Good, excellent. That was so good. Did you see that hind end disengage, pivoting over the four quarters? That's all I wanna do today. We got her saddled up in spite of the weather. She was a good girl. She came back here. She's doing what prey animals do, being very aware, but she's also being confident and respectful. And I appreciate that about Shadrach and Triton Center. Our cast of characters, Sadie and Eve. Sammy. Rusty. For calf Sila. For more information, www.cowgirlchannel.com.